Fellow pirates, sit back and relax, because today I've got a story to tell and here's the way it goes. After a hard day of pillaging and plundering, I decided to join an open crew and tag along with a random. Now the thing was, as soon as I joined, he left, leaving me with a stocked ship and a large alliance, one of which was doing the Shores of Gold Tall Tale, the hardest and most time consuming of the original nine Tall Tales, and that's where the real story begins, so let's get to it. <laughs> Now, you've probably seen a Reaper Steel, an Athena Steel, a Fort Steel, and probably even a Fort of the Dam Steel. But a Shores of Gold Tall Tale Steel? Well, now that just might be a first. Now, as I had just joined the server, I had no idea how much time I had before they returned. It would be a race against the clock to get set up before they came back to sell their prized possession, the Gold Hoarder Skull. With the clock ticking, I dropped sails and raced towards the nearest skull fort to stock up on a barrage of explosive gunpowder barrels. Now as I made my way back, I kept checking my map for two reasons. One, to see if they had finished yet and were headed back. And two, if they were in fact headed back, which outpost they were headed to. Now at this point, I had to make a decision on which outpost I would set the trap. Once I had decided, there would be no turning back. Moro's peak it was. Because number one, I just had a gut feeling and two, I was pretty sure that if I had the tall tail active and I turned in a stolen skull, it would count as completing the tall tail. So after I carefully hid the gunpowder barrels all around the Order of Souls tent, I activated the tail. Now there is nothing left to do but wait and hope that they came to this outpost. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. <laughs> 